Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Miss Liz. Thank you so much for joining today's Tween Lego Challenge. For today's Tween Lego Challenge, we will be creating two different Halloween themed projects. For our first project, we will be creating Lego ghosts. And for our second project, we will be creating DIY monsters. So before we get started, if you register for this program, you should have received a Lego kit that looks just like this. And inside this Lego kit, you will find everything you will need for today's projects. If you did not register for today's program, that's completely okay. You are still more than welcome to join in on the fun. You, of course, will just have to use Lego pieces that you might have of your own at your homes. So to get started, let's go ahead and open up these Lego kits and see what's inside. So if you open up your kit, you'll find several things. The first thing you will find is a Lego kit contents sheet. I thought this might be helpful to include because that way you will know what pieces you should have gotten in your kit and therefore you will know what pieces need to go back into the kits when you're done building because as a reminder all of these Lego pieces do need to be returned back to the library. In your kit, you also will find a bag that has DIY Monster on it. This is for our second monster project, which I will go over the directions for in just a moment. So for right now, you can actually set this bag aside. You also will find a Halloween themed minifigure. This is yours to keep. Happy Halloween. And then you'll see there are several different white Lego pieces left in your Lego kit. These are actually all the pieces we will be using to create our Lego ghost. So before we get started building, I want to just quickly go over kind of a helpful trick on how to categorize Lego pieces. Some of you may already be familiar with this, but this is a really helpful tip so you can become familiar with Lego language and therefore, therefore you'll be able to kind of follow along as we talk about different pieces. So if you don't know this, the way to categorize a Lego piece is to just count the number of columns and notches on a Lego piece. So as you can see, this Lego piece has one column, and in that one column, it has eight notches. Therefore, this is a one by eight Lego piece. So in your kit, you will see you have three one by eight pieces. In your kit, you also will have five one by six pieces, which look like this. So you should have five of them. You also will have one of these square pieces, which is a two by two brick. You also will have two one by three pieces. I'm trying to hold them so you can see them. One by three pieces. And you will have two one by two pieces as well. And then the remaining pieces are these little tiny pegs, which are one by one pieces, and you should have six of those. So let's go ahead and get started building our Lego ghost. So your Lego ghost should look something like this. So it is a pretty simple build, um, and it shouldn't take very long. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is take one of your 1x8 pieces. That's going to be the base of your ghost. And then you're going to take the 2x2 two two brick. And you're going to just snap it right on the end there. And you'll see that it is hanging off um, the end here a little bit. And that's completely fine. Then you're going to take your 1x6 pieces. And you're going to stack all of them together we're actually going to use them as one big kind of chunk of pieces. So go ahead, snap all of those one by six pieces together so you have one large piece like this. And then you're going to snap it on the one by eight piece and you want it to be hanging over by the width of one notch. And then in between that chunk of one by six pieces and the two by two piece, you will also have a space that is the width of one notch. All right, next you're gonna take your one by eight pieces. We're going to use these for the ghost's arms and you're going to stick them on the end there. 
And once you are done sticking those on, you'll see there is a space here, and that space should be the width of two notches. So, so far, your little Lego Go should look something like this. All right, next you're going to take these little guys, the little pegs here, the one by one pieces, and you're going to stick them um, along the one by eight pieces towards the inside. And as you can see, you'll have obviously this space here that is the width of two notches, and then it kind of goes up a little step here, and that'll be the width of one notch on both sides. You're going to take another set of pegs and stack them right on top. So, so far you should have something that looks like this. Then you're going to take those one by two pieces and stick them on the inside. So start with that right on the inside or that little spaces. Then you're going to stick that second one right in there as well. This part might be a little tricky because it is a really tight fit. So you might have to slide it in. And then you'll have something that looks like this. Then you're going to take the remaining two pegs, those one by one pieces, and stick them on the inside. So again, you'll have these little spaces here that are the width of one notch. So you should have something that looks like this. And now the finishing, finishing touch is to put on the top of his head. So you'll take your one by three pieces and snap them right on top. And then you are done creating your cute little Lego ghost. All right, and for the next step in our challenge, we will be creating DIY monsters. So this project is a little bit different than our ghosts. Unlike our ghosts, this project is going to be self-directed, which basically means that you are free to create whatever kind of ghost you would like. The only trick to this project is you are only allowed to use the pieces that you were given in your DIY monster bag. Everybody has different pieces. I don't think anyone even has the same amount of pieces, although everyone has roughly the same amount. Everyone's pieces are different. That way everyone's monster can be creative um, and unique in their own way. So the monster I created using just a handful of random Legos looks like this. So he is pretty goofy looking. Um, so like I said, go ahead and use your own imagination. Use your own creativity to create the goofiest looking, the creepiest looking, um, the most fun looking kind of monster you can create only using the Legos that you have in your bag. So that means you can't use any Legos at home. You can't use any of the Legos from the ghost piece. Only the Legos in that bag just so our challenge has a little bit of um, some complexity to it. So please feel free to post um, your ghost creations and your monster creations on our social media pages. We of course always love to see your creativity, especially when that creativity is self-driven. So that's about it for today's Lego challenge. I hope you all had a really great time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye.